Hello guys, I have killed all the dwarves at the lower level of the party. There are a couple more left including the two archers that are aiming at me. Again, I will use against them the confusion spell, but this time I won't focus only on them. I will send my minions to kill all the dwarves simultaneously because I don't want to have minion casualties. In this area, there are barrels and treasure boxes on the right side and at the left side there are treasure boxes and a tower missing object more specifically, a tower missing spellstone I find essential to accompany my minions to the gate point since here in Golden Hills it's not very strange to find new dwarfs at already explored areas. Here in Golden Hills it is pretty difficult to break everything everywhere because the barrels and boxes are simply countless. Now, something that I wanted to tell you guys is that at the Golden Hills we can find the third stone of each spell. By collecting these stones we will upgrade our spells and reach the third level. Which spell we will learn at the third level depends on our corruption level. For example, if our corruption level is 0%, the third upgrade of the minion spell would be the Legion of Honor. But if our corruption level was high enough, the upgrade would be the Legion of Terror. Now, in my case, I think that this spell is one of the best spells in the game, because with this one, in contrast with the Berserk spell, I can control fully my minions and make them attack only enemies. Of course, I will use it a lot at the Golden Hills. Now that all the dwarves at this area are dead, I can free the elves after I destroy the guarding posts. You may not need the blood pit now, but it's good to remember that there is one at this spot. The best thing that we can do is to wait for a slug to come out from the hole. That will distract the dwarves and give us the chance to catch them unprepared. Of course, it's not necessary to do this, but it's always good to be sure that you won't lose any minions. When you are facing a dwarf archer, it is better to either boost your minions with a minion spell or slow him down with a domination spell because one single archer can kill many minions with one shot that's because our minions are standing the one close to the other so one explosive arrow can affect many of them this is something that I mentioned in my previous video also but the dwarf archers had given me a really hard time in the past Just have that twenty ton problem blocking our way. From my personal experience, it is much better to use only green minions against the huge golem. Brown. 
I do call some blues with me in case I need to resurrect fallen minions. Of course, the use of the Legion of Honor spell is essential. If you don't want to use your minions to defeat the golem, then you can throw a couple fireballs. This way is also very effective and to be honest, by using the fireball spell to defeat it, you don't risk the safety of your minions. Inside the mine, we can find more than plenty gold, so try to be very observative and destroy every single barrel and box that you will find in your way. There are 4 golden cards inside the mine and each one of them will give us 3000 gold once we take it to the waypoint. Over here there is a brown minion pit in case you want to summon brown minions. The green minions are the best minions you can use against slugs and especially huge ones. I will let some minions carry the first card to the gate point. There is plenty deeper in the mine. For you. I'd rather die in a slug's belly than let Goldo have it. His greed has cost too many lives. Before I continue, I must break all the barrels and boxes in this area, cause later I might forget to do it. That's all for today guys, in my next video I will go deeper inside the glittering mine and retrieve the gold. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.